accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A lot of sunshine, a lot of heat on this Monday's temperatures were in the 80s. Our average reading should be in the 70s and it's only going to get hotter. Unfortunately, we'll talk about that here in a few minutes. Right now, we'll take you live up into Mejia. Beautiful blue skies. Our live Centex roof system sky tracker is on top of the Civic Center. Current temperature in Mejia at 83 degrees. Wind has been southeast around six miles per hour. We've got 83 degrees in Waco as well as Temple and Colleen. Sunshine in Gatesville, 82. It's 84 right now in Comanche and down toward the Brazos Valley. Still looking pretty good, but pretty hot. We've got sunshine in College Station and 85 degrees. As we check out those winds, those winds have been out of the south all day long, around 5 to 15 miles per hour. We've got a 15 mile per hour wind up into Hillsboro, a 10 right now in Temple, down in Caldwell. We've got a south to southeast wind at 8 miles per hour. So again, that's a warm wind pattern for us, but it's also sending some moisture up our way, and that may play a part tomorrow morning with a little fog in our region. Now, like I said, our average high is in the upper 70s. We're not even close to it. Take a look at the high temperature trend this week. 89 tomorrow, 91 on Wednesday. If we hit 91 on Wednesday, that will be a record high temperature. The record on Thursday is 91, so we may be very close to tying the record. And even with some slightly cooler weather expected by the weekend, these mid 80s, that's still way above average here across the region. Now, as we check out our rainfall chances, yeah, not real good. You know, the drought, we just showed you that in the moderate category for us right now. If it were to rain the rest of the month, and there's a pretty good chance that we're not going to see much in the way of any rainfall anymore, be the second driest October on record here in Waco with only a trace officially being recorded. Now, our satellite radar, pretty quiet weather. Most of the activity, as you can see behind the banner there, in parts of Kansas, Nebraska, over toward Missouri, but nothing down in our area. What we are looking at overnight, mainly quiet weather, clear skies, and like I said, with that southeast breeze, that could be sending some moisture up our way. So some areas of fog can't be ruled out to start the day tomorrow. As we go throughout the morning, we kind of break up the fog with the sun, but look at the temperatures climbing into the uh, mid to upper 80s across the region. Yeah, it's way above average late Tuesday into Wednesday. Once again, little fog possible, especially to the east of I-35. This is early in the morning on Wednesday. As we go throughout the day on Wednesday, you saw those highs climbing into the low 90s here. This is at 5 o'clock. We could be talking record-breaking heat on Wednesday. Tonight's forecast, though, mostly clear skies, about 61 degrees, your low temperature. So it'll be warmer tomorrow morning than we've seen over the last couple of days. And then mostly sunny skies tomorrow. There's that 89 degrees or high. Here's the long range 10 day forecast. Looks like we're going to keep those temperatures above average. Of course, looks good. Friday night, we've got a lot of homecoming games for high school football. And then Saturday is Baylor's homecoming. Looks great for the parade in the morning and then 86 of the afternoon. Next week, we're going to keep those temperatures running above average. There is our skeleton telling you, hey, guess what? We have a little bit cooler weather expected on Halloween there, 79 degrees. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, upper 80s here over the weekend. Once again, looks good for the uh, not only high school football, but also for the game, the Aggie game on Saturday. The next week, as we end October, we know ended already. Wow. It's, it's nuts, it's right? It's crazy. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit cooler there on Thursday, 78, but that 78 is where we should be now. So by then, that'll be warmer than average. Yeah, <laughs> for know? sure. Yeah, it's it's cooler than the other days, but yes, man, trick or treating is supposed to be cool. Yeah, you remember frigid. those times where you would yeah, yeah you'd probably you had a coat. thin sheet on for a yeah. ghost outfit and you were shivering. It was so cold. You had your coat on underneath. Not here in Waco. <laughs> no, we're just the opposite. Pools <laughs> are still yeah, open. You know, sweaty ghost. Yes. All right. Thanks.